Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing great today. I hope everybody had a great weekend and your Monday is starting off really good, your beginning of your week. I just hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you're having a chance to celebrate a little bit of Black History Month. Uh, we're almost coming to the end of the month. You know, we got February, the shortest month there is to celebrate Black History Month. But with that being said, we should be celebrating Black History every day anyway, okay? All right, so we're gonna get ready and jump into our conversation for today. I don't know if you guys followed it on the news, but a couple of weeks ago, up in Rochester, New York, um, this little nine-year-old girl got pepper sprayed by the police department. And I don't read about it. I read up on it and um, I was trying to figure out why did this incident even take place? Why was they even called to this young girl? And apparently they was called to a scene about a stolen vehicle. But once they got there, the mother was telling them that she was afraid that her daughter, her nine-year-old daughter was gonna hurt herself or someone else, okay? So when she, um, proceed to tell the police about this. I guess at that time, her and her little nine-year-old daughter was, was arguing. And then, you know, when she told the police is what she thought, uh, the little girl takes off to run it, okay? So these police are chasing this little nine-year-old girl. My first thought is, come on now, can y'all not catch this little girl? I mean, they ran, I think, like a block away from her house and there was snow, cause it's snow up in New York and the little girl fell down in the snow. And when she fell down in the snow, that's when the police just grabbed her and caught up to her and uh, proceeded to handcuff her while she's on the ground and she's fell down in the snow. So they handcuffed this little girl, nine-year-old girl. And you know, on the uh, video, one of the videos I saw, the little girl was crying and she was asking for her dad. She said she just wanted her dad. And the policemen was, they proceeded to go ahead and handcuff her. When they was handcuffing her, it had her down on the ground. Her little shirt came up, so it's cold outside. It's snow, you can see all her little midsection, her little stomach and stuff. So um, I was watching that and like I said, first I'm thinking, why are y'all even getting it, let it get to the point where y'all chasing this little girl? That's just crazy. So, you know, they get the little girl up and they go over and puts her in the in the back of the police car. She is handcuffed, nine years old. Of course, she's terrified. And of course, she's upset and she's screaming and she's yelling. She's asking them to let her go. And she's just like crying and hysterical. And you know, all this is going on. And one of the cops gonna actually say, and I saw this on the video, you need to be quiet. You acting like a child. Really? She is a child. She's a nine-year-old child. That statement shouldn't even came out of your mouth because first of all, you are the adult and you're treating this nine-year-old child like she's an adult and she's a criminal and it just doesn't make any sense. It just didn't make, doesn't make sense at all. But for that cop to make that statement to that, and I think I heard the little girl even say, I am a child. You know, she was crying and she was saying she was a child. And you know, it got to the point with this little girl being in the back of the car and that I guess they couldn't calm her down. So I guess they decided to um, pepper spray her. But I did read somewhere where they were saying the little girl was out of control when she was kicking them. Okay, she's nine years old. She's still a child. You know, it, 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 this whole incident just doesn't make sense. And you have, I mean, from the beginning of the incident, when they went there to that house and that mother said that her child, she feared her child was gonna hurt herself, to them pursuing to run after this child and chase this child, which is crazy because these are grown men that should have been able to not even let that child got away from them because they are trained uh, to handle situations like this or run out the criminals. They, they're, they're trained to run. They should be in shape. You know, they running out the criminals all the time. And you're going to let this nine-year-old child run, run, get away from you. And the only way you catch her is that she falls down in the snow. Crazy. That don't make no sense. And then, you know, if they felt like this child was a harm to herself, or her mother felt like felt that way and felt like she was gonna harm herself or someone, 
why was they not calling in the social workers and the psychiatrists and so on to talk to this child? You know, why did they have to take it as far as handcuffing this little girl and pepper spraying her? Oh my God, you know, that makes me go back to last year when we had different little incidents going on with children being handcuffed by policemen, whether they was at school and they felt, the teachers felt like they was out of control or the parents said they couldn't handle them and they called the police letting them handcuff these children. Why aren't they have, do they not have special police officers that have trained to deal with these children? You know, if you're gonna be called out to an incident and it's involving a child, anyone under the age of 18, you should be trained to handle that child. You should be trained to handle that incident. You should not be treating that child like a criminal or like an adult. You know, and even some of the ways you treat, you know, the cops treat adults is not right, but it's definitely not right when you're doing that to a little nine-year-old girl or any little child. It, it just doesn't make any sense that they had enough nerves to do that. Knowing these days, everything is video recorded Everything is, is going to be put out there on social media. It's just so crazy. It's so crazy. And this little girl, like I said, she was crying for her dad. You know, like I said, they didn't even, I don't even, they didn't even say in the interview where they actually questioned this mother, like, what's going on in the home? Why do you feel like this little girl is going to hurt herself? Why do you feel like she's going to hurt someone else? What, what has got to be something going on in that home? for her to be acting out the way she acting out. She ain't just woke up that morning and decided to start acting out or doing what she was doing. It's something that has led up to that. You know, why could they not say, well, okay, let's just, you know, talk to her, come down to her level, come down to her level. If you got to get down on your knees, talk to this baby and have her to understand that you're going to get someone to come out there to actually talk to her and, you know, and, and let her tell them what's going on in the home. Why are they, why is she feeling the way that she feeling? I mean, that's why they have social workers. That's why they have psychiatrists. You know, that's why they have people that has, has actually trained and went to school to learn how to handle a child when something going on that's making them act out in the way that they're acting out. That's why they always talking about mental health and getting help and talking to psychiatrists and all this stuff. Why can't the cops uh, do that? Why can't they practice that also? You know, you can, you have special cops that deal with drugs and, and, and undercover and prostitute and out there to, to catch all them and do all that. Why can't you have a team of cops that works together just to just to handle these type of incidents when it's involving a child. Because you have special groups of cops that handle everything else. Drugs, prostitutes, children coming up missing. All this other stuff you have a group that, that you supposedly untrain these cops in doing. But there's been too many incidents where cops have been called out for an incident involving a child under the age of 18 and it goes to the left and they end up handcuffing or, or, or slamming these children to the ground or pepper spraying these children or whatever the case may be. That has to stop, man. It just has to stop. And like I said, the mother, the only thing I, they said that I've read so far is, you know, what the mother, what the mother told them when they got there, you know, at the beginning of this incident and that, you know, this child, she felt like this child was gonna harm herself or someone else. You know, they never did say what happened, what caused his mom to feel this way, or, 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 or what? why did this child run off? You know, she probably was already nervous and whatever was going on in the home and she was feeling some kind of way. And then you see these cops coming up, these, you know, these big old mans coming up there. And I'm pretty sure being from New York, uh, Rochester, New York, or any city really, when the people, when the children see cops, they get a little nervous because they watch the news and they hear adults talking about it. You know, just like all the rest of us, when we come across some cops or some cops are called to something, you feeling a little tense and you a little nervous already because you don't know what's gonna happen. You know, so I don't think um, at the time that I um, that I the last thing I read, I don't think no one had actually been arrested or anything like that. 
it's an ongoing investigation, you know, but uh, I'm hoping that they have gotten this little girl to uh, the professionals that they need to get her to, to get some help or let her talk, talk to someone and tell them, you know, why she's feeling the way she feel, what caused her to, you know, do whatever it is they think she did, you know, and for them to, but it's, you know, it doesn't matter what she did. It, the, the bottom line is for a child and getting pe pepper sprayed, it's never good. I mean, adults can't even handle getting pepper sprayed. How do you think a nine year old gonna handle? Of course she was acting like a child cause she is a child. Of course she was kicking and screaming and all that and asking for her dad because she felt like that was all she could do to try to get away from them or that's who she was calling out to because she may have felt like he was the only person that was going to help her or save her. You know, it, it was just so funny. It was just, I was looking at this like, are you really serious? When this cop asked, told her, you need to be quiet. You're acting like a child. I was I was wanting to go through the TV myself. Like, are you serious, man? What are you really? You gonna ask this baby this? You know, it's just crazy. But you know, it's I'm laughing about it. You know, about different incident that I read or saw on the TV about this, about this. But it's not funny. Period. Nothing about this is funny. It's 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 just a, another situation that has proven once again that our cops are not trained in proper ways for handling different situations. And they definitely don't have the training they need when it comes to handling kids under the age of 18. It, it, it has been proven over and over again. And I know the cops are stressed. They have a lot going on. I have family members that are policemen that works in some major cities. And uh, I know they have a lot to go through. And a lot of times they don't even come home and talk about all that they've gone through that day. You know, they have to hold that in. They don't want to bring that home to their families. But I feel like um, there needs to be some additional training with all these other programs that they're putting in place and trying to come up with the stimulus package and this and that. I do believe they need to put some money off in there to send some of these cops back to training, to some classes to learn how to handle different situations because the way they handle it when it comes to kids, it's just not right. It's not right. And there's no other way for us to look at it. I mean, we can't feel sorry for the cop. We can't feel sorry because this little girl was kicking at them and screaming and, 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 and all that. I don't, I don't feel sorry for them because they are adults and they should be able to handle that in a totally different situation. And first of all, it should have never escalated to that point. They should have never had to chase after this little girl. You know, she's nine years old. How fast can she run? That she had to run, y'all running behind her, and y'all can't catch her until she fall down into the snow. And then when she fall down into the snow, you want to handcuff her. Put handcuffs on a little nine-year-old. And you want to hold her down till you get her handcuffed and she's all in the snow with no coat or anything on. <sighs> mm. Lord Jesus. <laughs> I ask Lord Jesus. That's all I can say. Just Jesus have mercy. Just, just, just. I don't know. Open, up, open up these cops' eyes. Put some wisdom in their heads. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's just some things need to change. And when we're seeing those type of things on the news, and I didn't even really want to talk about it because I got so upset when I seen it. But I've seen it a couple of times since it happened a few weeks ago i've seen it on the social media popping up here and there so i just thought i'd go ahead and throw my little opinion out there about it you guys can let me know what you think about it i think it was wrong no if and buts about it and i feel like our cops all over the united states need some additional training not just in new york all over they need to get some additional tra training to handle these type of situations okay all right, well, I'm about to get on up out this kitchen and stuff. Like I said, I hope you guys had a great day. Hey, if you're gonna be out and about, don't forget to wear your mask. Don't forget to sanitize, social distance, all that, because the coronavirus is still here. It ain't going nowhere. And it's taking a little longer for people to get that vaccine shot, okay? Hey, don't forget to go back and look right on down there at the bottom of your screen. Give me some thumbs up, share my video. Uh, subscribe to Kitchen Talk if this is the first time you're checking out Kitchen Talk with Grandma. And guys, just have a great day, and I'm going to catch you guys next time around.